Salut, Pascal Moscato here. Welcome back into the Getting Ready series, a series to make yourself more efficient by setting the bases the right way. So in today's video, we're going to have a look at Action Script. So what they do, how to set it up, uh, how to change keyboard to use it. And at the end, I'll show you a quick demo of my own workflow with my custom made script, just to give you an example of what you can do yourself with Action Script. So let's jump into it. Before we start, let me explain what is an action script. It's a text file that contains from 12 to 99 pat, depending on the motion builder version you have, and that reaches Python script file. Those scripts can then be executed with predefined keyboard shortcuts, and those shortcuts can be changed to whatever you want. The goal in all of this is to use Python script to make your life easier by executing code that would otherwise take much more time. To really complete this tutorial, you will need at least one Python script file. If you need some, follow the link in the description to download the scripts that I'm using in this video. Feel free to use them and edit them. Let's extract those files. And move them in my document. But you can put them wherever you want. Now let's find the action script file. It is located into program file, Autodesk, motion builder, bin, config, script. I won't edit the original file in program file because I don't want to change this file for every person that will use that computer. I'm going to copy it in my document. This way everyone can have their own custom action script file. Now that it is copied, let's open it. You can see here, there's a lot of instruction. If you have any doubt after this video, please let me know. But remember that everything is explained here. If you put your script in the program file folder, you can use that path structure. Otherwise, you will have to use that path structure. Here is my 12 usable path. I will now tap my five script path. And save. My action script are already usable with the default keyboard mapping, which should be Shift F1 to Shift F5 if you have the default motion builder keyboard mapping. Let's see that in action. The first script will duplicate the current take and keep the same name. I use this script to keep all the animation as backup. The next script will plot the animation to skeleton, then plot to control rig. I use this script to make sure both animation sources are in sync. The two next scripts help me navigate between my takes by going to the previous or to the next take in the list. And finally, the last script helped me clean my scene faster by removing all the layers. Because I've plotted just before, my layers are safe to be removed. If you want to customize your shortcuts instead of using Shift F1, for example, you can go see this video right here that explains in more detail how to do so. Here is a quick overview of how to do it. Open your keyboard mapping file, and at the bottom of the file, you will find global script 1 to 12 or to 99 and this is the shortcut I'll change mine to to alt Q W E A and S So that's it for today's video on action script. If you learned something, please consider leaving a thumbs up and sharing with a friend. Uh, I'll be reading your comments, your questions, I'll be answering them. And I'll see you in the next one. À la prochaine!